However, there has been no respite in Israeli attacks in southern Gaza. Nasser Hospital in Khan Yunus is under siege, and there's heavy fighting nearby. At least 300 patients and 5,000 displaced Palestinians are trapped inside. The World Health Organization is calling for an immediate ceasefire so it can bring in life-saving supplies. The Gaza Health Ministry says the facility has run out of food, anesthetics and painkillers. Doctors Without Borders says many wounded Palestinians will have no option for treatment as Israel's offensive intensifies in southern Gaza. The Israeli military has opened fire on displaced Palestinians in Khan Yunis. Local sources say a number of people were injured. There are fears Israeli forces may be preparing to arrest large numbers of Palestinians in the area. Hani Mahmoud joins us now from Rafah in southern Gaza. So this is the day after the ruling by the ICJ. Hani, any sign Israelis are taking any special measures to avoid genocide in their attacks? Yes, Samuel. Well, uh, just to, to start with the, the, the level of disappointment and frustration among Palestinians here, because their priority right now is to uh, end this madness and to stop the masculine of, of their entire, uh, of their people and the entire population uh, across the Gaza Strip. And what they're looking at as a priority is, is to save lives, to protect more lives uh, as the war continues. But uh, despite the ruling uh, that required Israel to end all acts of genocide, just less than 24 hours after this ruling, we're seeing uh, no let up in the attacks across the Gaza Strip. Here in Rafah City, an area with more than 1.7 million displaced Palestinians, the cold corner in this small place, uh, an airstrike took place in overnight at uh, the residential home where uh, tens of displaced Palestinians were inside the home. Three people reported uh, killed and multiple other injuries rushed to an overwhelmed small size hospital here in Rafah. Uh, so they just adding more pressure on healthcare facility. And across Khan Yunis, uh, within the past uh, a few days, a surge in the relentless airstrikes, a massive artillery shelling, but more concentrated uh, this time on healthcare facilities, including Al Amal Healthcare Facility, that is a charitable uh, healthcare organization operated and managed by the Palestinian Red Crescent Society and has been providing vital assistance to Nasser Hospital, the only remaining uh, large health facility across Khan Yunis so that came under military siege and already suffering of multiple complications due to the ongoing bombardment. To the western part of the city where 100,000 Palestine, displaced Palestinians been sheltering inside either residential buildings or other public facilities, including in Al-Aqsa University, the largest uh, public university in the Gaza Strip, which came under a bombardment and artillery shelling with the snipers across, within the vicinity of the area, taking position at uh, some of the remaining buildings and shooting as people that they were trying to seek refuge uh, elsewhere. The central area was no different than Khan Yunis says. Uh, right after the ruling, just within a few minutes of the, uh, the statement that was made uh, at The Hague, uh, the uh, two residential homes were uh, targeted and destroyed in the Nusayrat refugee uh, camp. So it just we're seeing the opposite of what was required by the Israeli military just right after those rulings were made, uh, the, the surge in the airstrikes uh, coupled with uh, reactions by the Israeli military and the Israeli political leadership that the war is going to continue and uh, people don't see any lit up in the attacks anytime soon. All right, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much, Hani Mahmoud.